Good evening, everyone. My name again is Angelica Diaz Naranjo. I am supervisor of child welfare and attendance with the ABC Unified School District. Thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, today's date is Monday, April 25th, 2022, and it is currently about 6 p.m. We are currently live via Zoom, and I will be sharing my screen shortly for the Schools of Choice Open Enrollment Lottery Run for the 2022-2023 school year. Please be aware that while this webinar is live, it is also being recorded, and it will be available on the ABC Unified School District website. Uh, just as a reminder, the Schools of Choice application window closed on March 31st, 2022. I want to remind everyone that applications for open enrollment Schools of Choice are subject to a random unbiased selection process, uh, such as a lottery, to determine which applicants shall be admitted into their School of Choice. So at this time, I also want to inform parents and or guardians that you will no longer, uh, for the time being, be able to um, view the parent dashboard on the Schools of Choice system. In order for us to run the lottery, we have to shut down access to the dashboard. Once Schools of Choice notifications begin to be sent, the dashboard will be accessible and you will receive email and text notifications of your child's Schools of Choice application status. Notifications will begin on Friday, April 29th at 10 a.m. Parents and guardians will then have 48 hours to accept the Schools of Choice offer. If parents and or guardians do not accept within the 48 hours, then the system will auto decline the offer and the space will be offered to another student. Please make sure to check the email you included in the student's schools of choice application on a daily basis. I'm gonna now begin to share my screen. And what you see here is our administrative side of Schools of Choice application system. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. This is my login. And I'm gonna go ahead and go through a few items before running the lottery live. I'm gonna turn your attention to the screen uh, where you're, you're going to see my dashboard. I'm gonna click on lottery. This is where uh, we have the dashboard where we will, uh, in a moment, be running the lottery live. And um, it, again, it looks quite different to what you see as parents and or guardians because this is the administrative side of the system that we use. Before running the lottery, I'm going to verify uh, some information. I'm just going to make sure that our settings are in place. Everything has been set up previously. Um, here you will notice that we have the date of April 29th, 2022. This is the date, this is Friday's date, the date uh, when we will begin to send notifications of schools of choice this Friday. Okay. I believe everything else has been previously set up already. And this is where we have disabled the parent dashboard momentarily until Friday. So all of that is already set up. And I'm gonna go ahead and enter the date information. I'm going to add all of our schools into the system to run the lottery. And then all of our grade levels are indicated here below. For the purposes of running the lottery live, I have in our settings um, made that the for, for, for right now, the names of students will be hidden. And this is for confidentiality purposes um, because I will be showing an example once the lottery runs. So we will only be able to see uh, schools of choice ID numbers uh, when I show the sample. 
Um, however, this we we will then go in and and change this feature when when uh, the notifications begin to be sent as of Friday. But for the purposes of sharing this information live to protect the confidentiality of our students and to show you um, one of the school sites lottery lists, we are hiding the names of students uh, for running the lottery live. I'm gonna go ahead now and select um, the uh, run lottery for selected programs here below. And I believe I have to enter my password first. <laughs> And we're gonna go ahead and click run lottery for selected programs. And this is gonna take a few minutes. So we'll just have to be patient as the lottery runs. At this time, I would like to say thank you uh, to all of you and our, our community for participating in our Schools of Choice open enrollment process on behalf of our superintendent, Dr. Mary Sue, and our ABC Unified School District administrators. Uh, we are looking forward uh, to an exciting and productive 2022-2023 school year. I would like to briefly just remind you of the final timeline. Schools of Choice notifications once again will begin on Friday, April 29th at 10 a.m. Uh, do not worry if you do not receive a notification exactly at 10 a.m. It does take a few minutes. It may take a few minutes for everyone to start receiving the notifications, uh, but please know that notifications will begin as of 10 a.m. on Friday. Uh, the lottery remains open until May 31st and uh, Schools of Choice officially ends on June 1st. And what I mean by the lottery remains open is that um, it's the wait list, depending on students accepting their offers, continues to allow rollovers on the wait list. So those rollovers can happen up until the end of May. Uh, please remember that there is no appeal process for schools of choice. If your student did not or does not get their school of choice, we always recommend that you apply for the following school year. Uh, which would be 2023, 2024. At, at this time, I would also like to thank uh, the Child Welfare and Attendance team, as well as School Services for being present here this evening. Mr. Scott Smith, our Communications Officer, and Mr. David Franklin, our District Program Specialist for Technology Support. So we're gonna continue to wait a few minutes.
Again, I wanna thank everyone for being here this evening. Uh, if you just came in, we are here uh, doing our Schools of Choice Open Enrollment Lottery Live, and we're just pending um, the completion of the lottery run through our um, Smart Choice system. We had over 2,000 applications in this year's uh, Schools of Choice application window. So I'm sure that's why the system takes its time while running the lottery. Okay, here we are. So our lottery has now completed and the results are on the screen. And so as you can see here, um, just to explain a little bit, the school sites are not in alphabetical order because this is a lottery. If we were to rerun the lottery, let's say it would provide a different list looking completely different to this one. So this is how it will remain. It shows the date and time that we have run the lottery and it shows our school sites. You may see here that there are um, school sites they are not that are not part of our lottery um, run. For example, uh, an example would be Nemeth Elementary dual, dual Spanish program. Uh, this is not, this program is not part of the uh, schools of choice lottery. However, these schools are in the smart choice database and they are simply there, but there's no, uh, they don't participate in the lottery run. There's no students aren't designated uh, to these programs because we have a separate system for these programs. So just to make you all aware, because you are viewing my screen. Um, what you see here is uh, the results of the lottery. And again, they are um, at random and they're not alphabetized. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up one of the school sites. So we'll go ahead and view, uh, let's do the first school that we have on the list, which is Leal Elementary. And if I show you here, we can't see student names once again for confidentiality reasons. And if you see, it shows us grade K, it shows us uh, the waiting list. So we already, we have all of that information here. And this is how each of our, our schools uh, will look like, okay? So I just wanted to briefly show you this um, so that you can view what each school site looks like. I'm gonna return to the lottery. And here we are again, okay? So for, I, I did want to comment on our uh, the schools uh, with wait lists. For those who are waitlisted, for those students who may end up on the wait list, please know that throughout the month of May, if any person uh, from the accepted list says no or declines the offer, 
then automatically a student from the waiting list will be rolled over into the accepted list. And this will continue to happen up until May 31st. Our recommendation is for those that are waitlisted, waitlisted to, to please be patient if you were placed on the waitlist. Uh, notifications, once again, will be uh, sent out starting Friday, April 29th, beginning at 10 a.m., and you're going to receive this notification uh, to the email that parent or guardian included in their student's schools of choice application. And parents and or guardians will have 48 hours to accept the schools of choice offer, which is why we recommend that you're, you're checking uh, your email on a daily basis for now up until May 31st. If parent or guardian does not accept within the 48 hours, then the system will auto decline the offer and the space will be offered to another student. Uh, again, please make sure to check your emails. Uh, schools of choice will officially end June 1st. And just as a reminder, there is no appeal process for the schools of choice application. Um, and at this time, I'm going to go ahead and conclude. This does conclude our lottery run. Um, I, like I, I've shown you, we have run the lottery. It is now official. And um, as of Friday, you will begin to receive notifications. I would like to thank everyone uh, for being with us this evening and um, have a wonderful evening. If you have any questions, you may call uh, the Child Welfare and Attendance Office. However, if you're calling regarding uh, anything related to the notification or what placement you're, if, if, you're, if your child has been offered their schools of choice, uh, we won't be able to provide you any of that information until it is offered to the entire community as of Friday. Okay, thank you everyone for being here this evening and have a great, have a great evening. Thank you.